Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can export your design or your graph from HFS into Origin Pro. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss some videos that I will be uploading. So as you can see this design we have uh, a head-shaped microstrip antenna which has two parasitic elements on the top all right so you can see it has a full ground plane all right so in this video I'm going to show you how you can export your results like the S11 parameter that we have here you can export it into origin pro so that you can make the necessary uh, uh, makeup on your graph so that it can be seen very clearly so without wasting time let me just show you the process first of all you need to right click on your graph the graph that you want to export all right so the 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 the, the option here you need just to export it like this and then you can rename it give it the name that you want in my case i'm going to name it like s11 all right and i'm exporting it in the desktop right so here the file is in the csv extension format so you just click save so the next step is for you to open your origin pro just come to windows and write origin pro like this right so this is my origin pro app that i'm going to open by double clicking on it so it might take some time before it opens uh, according to the size of your ram your memory as you can see yeah it opens up like this so in this case i'm going to open a blank workbook all right so it is already selected so i just click on okay all right so i'm going to enlarge my uh, uh file here all right my workspace so the next step is i should go back and try to open my file the one that i have already saved all right so this is s11 and i'm going to try to open it and try to import the data like this so just hold the control button and click on the a column and also on the b column once you've done that just click on control c so that you can uh you can select the two files right then you copy them and try to paste on the origin pro right like this and here you go now the next step you need to rename your columns this is the frequency uh, like frequency and you can also cut it and paste it on the log name so the next step is for you to change the name of your y column in this case i'm going to give it a reflection coefficient because this is the reflection coefficient of the antenna reflection coefficient like this it has to be expressed in decibel all right so i'm gonna copy it and paste it right up so the next step you can enlarge so that it can be very well visible for sorry here we go so now you just need to press on your control button and try to select the two the next step just come to plot and choose the line option choose the line option so you can see your graph has been imported from your hfs into your origin pro so the next step is to try to bring some makeup on your graph so that it can be very well visible so double click on it and change the width of your graph make it five 
if you want you can also change the color you can make it uh, like this one and apply you can see your graph has been changed you can also um, let's say yeah that's okay you can change if you want to choose a pattern you can choose a pattern instead of a solid line like a dot or a dash if you choose a dash you can see it can change of whatever you choose you can choose short dash like this it has also changed all right so in my case i'm going to use a solid line like this this will just to show you how you can do it so the next step you can double click on the horizontal line so that you can you can change the scaling in this case i want my horizontal to start at 20 zigahertz and uh, up to 45 this is the range that i choose in my design so you just apply and yeah you're good and then you try to choose your your grid you just click on show and show for the horizontal one it's going to be show and show you can see it has added a grid in your graph which makes it very beautiful to see and also you can add some lines show the same thing and also the same all right just click apply you can see you have added some line in your graph so in this case you don't need the legend because you only have one graph so you just make sure you click on it and press the delete button it will be completely deleted so the next step is you can bold you can bold your your script by double clicking on them and you can just come to format and bold yeah this is you do the same for the horizontal plane just come to format and yeah bold okay and okay so this is your graph if you want you can add a line to show the reference point in this case we are going to choose a line like this make sure you hold your shift button and then you can draw a line over here this line shows that we are only interested in the bandwidth that is uh, uh, that is uh, below the minus 10 db reflection coefficient criteria so you can change its color to make it a bit different by choosing the blue color All right so then apply and here, here you are so this is all what i had to show you in this tutorial how you can export your hfs from a design into origin pro so if you go back to your hfs design you can see it here and you can see your origin pro design thank you guys for watching and see you next time